All right, good evening, Weather Geeks. Uh, a lot of you have been asking about the outflow boundary that I was talking about earlier and uh, asking questions on uh, what exactly is an outflow boundary, why is it important, what does an outflow boundary do, exactly what is the process behind it, and what can it do uh, for future purposes. Well, let me show you, first of all, uh, the outflow boundary that I was talking about earlier on uh, Facebook and, of course, uh, on, uh, on Twitter as well. And uh, if you look closely, here's Live 11 Live Radar. I'm going to slow this down, actually. Uh, I'm going to slow it down to uh, the slow speed. And if you look closely, boom, there it goes. Let me uh, go ahead and draw a line for you. Let me freeze it in the last context. Boom, right there. Now, this is the outflow boundary right here. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and loop it. Watch that thing as it moves out. Whoosh. See, it's coming from right here. Whoosh. It's making that sound too. Whoosh. Okay, now what an outflow boundary is? It is a thunderstorm that uh, can no longer be held be held up by uh, the instability in the atmosphere because the winds at the upper levels are very very weak. So it starts to collapse. As it collapses, the air cools, gets denser, collapses faster, gets colder, collapses faster, gets denser, and then hits the ground and then spreads out in all directions. Sometimes you can have these uh, form of what's called microburst, but uh, this is a little bit larger scale than a microburst. Now there you can see it as it moves through the metro Atlanta area. Now what these things do is as they are propagating out eastward, uh, sometimes at around uh, 50 to 60 miles per hour, uh, they lift the air. As they lift the air, they create more thunderstorms. So we could actually see more thunderstorms developing along this outflow boundary. Now let me show you uh, how fast the winds are. I'll right zoom in just a bit, see uh, what the winds are, see if we can pick it up on, on our, uh, on our uh, live 11 live radar. Let's see. Okay, so let's see what some of these wind speeds are right here. And uh, some of these wind speeds, uh, about 25 miles per hour there. But out by Tyrone, we had 40 mile per hour winds in uh, parts of Fayette County. We had 40 mile per hour winds in Coweta County. We had 40 mile per hour winds. So had some pretty decent winds with this thing. Uh, but anyway, a lot of, of y'all were asking about that. So I just wanted to uh, clarify what an outflow boundary is. All right, so tonight, 20% chance of rain by 10 o'clock, 85 degrees. Uh, 87 tomorrow by the noon hour. All right, if there are any more uh, interesting questions, just post it on my timeline. I'll hopefully answer those tonight uh, in one of the latest webcasts. Until then, have a great evening.